I will come to our fifth lesson and the third lesson in week two. So <clears throat> the last lesson was finding average or mean. And here the next lesson is the five is more about average. More about average. And here the first example says the average of three numbers is 12. What is the sum of the three numbers? The average of three numbers is 12. What is the sum of three numbers? So here, the question is requesting us to get the sum of the three numbers. So since the question is requesting us to get the sum of three numbers, we are going to let any unknown to be the sum of the three numbers. Right? We say, let it let me use letter P. Let it P be the sum of three numbers. Let P be the sum of three numbers. And now the sum of our three numbers is letter P. Where we are going, where we are having sum of items. We are going to remove that, that, that word, we replace it with the letter P, because P is representing the sum. Therefore, we set our formula, which says that average equals sum of all items out of number of items and here they are talking of in this question is telling us the average of three numbers that is 12 so our average here we are moving the word average because now we know the average and the average now is it 12 so we are going to see that 12 is equal to sum of all numbers now we know it because they have said that let the p be the sum of three numbers. So now the sum is being represented by letter P, which is now P out of number of items. Here they are going to the sum of three numbers. So the items is three. The items are three out of three. Then here we say 12 is equal to P out of three. Now here when you reach this level, we remove the denominator, this one here. And to remove the denominator, we multiply both sides by this very number. This way we are going to multiply by 3, if you decide to multiply by 3. So here we say times 3, if you decide times 3. Now here, you divide 3 divided by 3 is easy. 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And now here we multiply 3 times 12, you get 36 is equal to, here we are left with only letter P, because P times 1, P times 1 you get P, so it is P. Therefore, P is equal to 36, and the sum of 3 numbers is now 36, because the question is saying, what is the sum of three numbers? Now we can conclude that we say, therefore, the sum of three numbers is 36. So that is our final answer. You can analyze it. Then you also look at example 2. Here they are talking of the average cost of 9 books is 1080. The average books, the average cost of 9 books is 1080 syringe. What is the cost of all of books? So this one, 1080 syringe is the cost, is the average. So now they want us to find the total cost of all books. 
as we have said, as, as, as we have stated here, we that we let any letter, even here we are going to let any letter to be the total cost of all books. Therefore, here we have used the letter P, here we can use a different letter, a letter of your choice. But the letter you are using should not be letter S, because some of you, you write letter S as if it is a fine. Should not be letter I. Such letters, no. Therefore, let's say let any letter, let me use Y. Let Y be the total cost of nine books. Let Y be the total cost of nine books. Then after that, you set the formula. And the formula we say that average is equal to sum of all items out of number of items. Now here the, the average cost of learning books is 1080 shillings. So the average is 1080 shillings. We are moving the word average, we are replacing it with the amount, which is 1080 shillings is equal to sum of all items is the total cost of all books, which is it? Which is it? Why? Because you see, let, let Y be the total cost of, of nine books. Therefore, we are moving, we are moving the word sum of all items, we are replacing it with the letter Y. Out of the total number of items, and yes, they are, they are talking of 90 books. Therefore, the total number of items is 90. Now we are having, we are having 1,080 shillings is equal to y out of 9. Then we remove this name. To do away with the 9, with this denominator, we are going to multiply this way by this very number, even the same, by this that very number. So, multiply it by 9, even the same, multiply by 9. Now here you divide 9, divided by 9 is 1, 9 divided by 9 is also 1. So you remain with 9 times 1080 syringe is equal to y. This outside work is 7080 times 9. We are reading vertically. Here it is 0 times 9. 0. 0 times 8 is 72. We write 2 and carry 7. 0 times 9. 0, then 0 plus 7 is 7, 0 times 1 gives us 9. So this one here it is 9,720. Here 9,720 is equal to y. y is equal to 9,000. 720. Then you conclude because the question is not telling us to find the value of y, but it is telling us to find the total cost of all books. Therefore, you are going to say, therefore, the total cost of all books is uh, 9,000. 720 finish. So this marks the end of our lesson of more about average and I just encourage you to do the work. After doing the work, we send it back for marking.
and where you have not understood, you call or you contact me either on WhatsApp or you just call me direct. But it's better to call me direct for more explanations. Thank you for attending the lesson.